There are a myriad of uh, risk factors, as we know, and we think that periodontal disease is yet another risk factor. There is evidence that uh, the inflammation that is generated locally in the gums uh, can create status of systemic inflammation in the whole body. So we're looking at how much of the risk for developing cardiovascular disease can be attributed to having periodontal disease. We know there's an association. We have a lot of evidence for plausible mechanisms, but we don't yet have the intervention trials which show that in fact, if you treat or prevent periodontal disease, that cardiovascular disease will be better. Cardiovascular disease is gonna be a big priority because of the prevalence of these diseases, okay? Type two diabetes and cardiovascular disease are related to each other. I mean, type two diabetics don't die of diabetes, they die of cardiovascular disease. Over time, uh, you accumulate evidence. Uh, prospective studies are much more powerful than retrospective studies and ultimately intervention studies uh, where you're able to treat uh, the periodontal disease and show some outcome in the cardiovascular disease that, that shows a direct impact. And uh, several studies are, are underway along those lines. We as dentists can contribute very much to alleviate the burden of disease by addressing the shared risk factors and in particular um, by using the expertise that we have in changing the lifestyle of our patient.